what is up guys so if the ambulance can pass by without interrupting me all right guys so as you guys can see on the title of the video i'll be talking about bs seats keep in mind this is a work truck i daily it i uh, use it to tow I use it to haul these two mainly in the summer it's my project slash daily i'm not in a rush building it i'm just building it slowly as you guys can see the seats look pretty clean bought these like around i think i i'm not even sure i don't remember i bought it for a while now it's about to be a year i think i'm not part eight months i'm not exactly too sure but it's it's a, it's been a while now and it's, the tear wasn't there before i'll show you guys the tear this was off an 011 avalanche and when i bought these seats i was all like i want to put them in this single cab and the reason why i don't know it's just something about these seats that feel more comfortable than the nnbs or the nbs i'm at and honestly it just looks better honestly i don't know something about these seats that make it look better here i'll show you guys let me roll down the window i haven't i don't have power windows as you can see well, that's something I'm gonna do later on. How it looks, it looks in my opinion, it looks area really looks good. So, this is a work truck, this is what it usually comes standard with. From that to one of these, I say it's a good upgrade. All right, let me uh show you how the power works on it. Let me just start up. Hopefully, it turns on because I haven't turned it on in like days. Don't mind the hood, guys. I'm aligning it. This is a project truck. Oh, I forgot to mention, it is five speed. You guys can see, that's the main reason why I bought it. Yeah, I think it's dead, hold up. It was freezing the other few the few days that passed. So I'm pretty sure that's why. All right guys, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna just leave the switch on. It's not completely dead, it's dead though. Cause I haven't turned it on. But you guys can see the switches. These seats are all powered. I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it also has uh, heated and cooled seats, so it does go forward. You just can see, you just can see I'm pressing the button, but the battery's dead on this truck. Yeah, this is completely dead. I'm gonna need a pass charge, guys, because it, it does take a lot of power. If you are gonna power these seats, uh, make sure you have a good battery. In this case, I have a good battery. Just I'm pretty sure the wires on this truck are really old since being being on being a oh what is it being an O2 truck, it is really old. As you can see, it's old and rusty. You guys can call it rusty as well. All right, guys. So it didn't turn on, and I don't have a cable on me right now, so I gotta go get it. Currently not at my house right now. It's at a house my dad's remodeling, so I'll have to go pick that up. That's weird, guys. Usually. The truck, once it's on, after like two to three days, it usually stays on. But it probably was cold during the night. It, it gets really cold. I'm pretty sure it probably lost charge because of that. And it does have a new battery, but I'm guessing the cables on that truck, since it, it's a O2, it's really old. I need to replace them. It does have spark plugs, new spark plugs, but it still needs some maintenance done to it. I get asked a lot of questions and you know, I said I might as well put it out there on youtube first i was thinking about tiktok then i was like you know i'm just gonna youtube people usually search up how-to videos on youtube so you know what better in a way just put it on youtube than any other um, platform for the ones that already see me thanks for watching you know honestly that means a lot and for the new for the new people who watch the videos it's just i'm mainly just gonna talk, talk about whatever i do to the truck and i'll just share it with you guys I had a hardwire the seats. The seat I bought from the Avalanche, I, I cut the harness, but I didn't even use it. Cause uh, it was really um, complex. It was me and a friend, friend Daniel, he helped, he helped me. You guys probably won't know him, but uh, he helped you in this project. He mainly did most of the wiring. Cause I'm, I suck at wiring. When I tell you guys I suck, I suck at wiring. Like that's the worst thing I could do. Um, but you know, practice makes perfect, but I wanted him to do it just to make sure everything went right. I had a possible idea how to do it. Just like not exactly right. Like you're probably watching this video. Just basically hardwire the battery, positive and negative to the battery and run it through the firewall. And from the firewall to the to the seat, or just hide them underneath the 
the carpet or rubber floor mats, whatever you guys have. Uh, you just can see there's a mess in here. And the cable, just for the cable to not be, oh, it's right here. Uh, for a sec, I didn't see, I didn't see it for a second. I got scared, just, but yeah, guys. So you basically just run the cable from the battery all the way to the seats. Make sure you hide them really good. As you can see. But we got the cable on. Uh, this thing is so fun. All right, guys. So I got it all plugged up. Just to see. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully, it turns on. Wow, it's still dead. It's completely dead. I gotta let it charge for a bit. Oh, they're on there. They're on there. Hold on, guys. Right, Let's see if that made any difference. Yeah, I think that those cables are garbage. Hold up, I'm gonna see if this works. No, nah, it doesn't even work. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, guys. So, yeah. So these cables are garbage. I'm away. You guys are not on the way, but I'm have to wait till tomorrow. So I can pass charge and make sure it turns on. And from there, I'll explain to you guys. Yeah, but this will be all cut up. You guys won't be seeing all that. All right, so it's currently the next day. I mean, you guys won't be able to tell since I cut the video. I could have passed charge yesterday since I didn't have a cable with me and my dad had one. So he left his truck today. So I'm pretty sure that cable's in there. Let me just get the keys. If I can find it. Right here. Oh, it's already open. Oh. As you guys can see, he has a mess in here. I mean, he's a, I don't doubt him, I don't doubt him. So these are the cables, I was talking about these for sure. We'll wake her up. Damn, I need to be like him one day. Use a TRX for work. These cables, for sure, it'll, wake, it'll turn on the truck. And if it doesn't, then I think it's time to let her go in the scrap. All right, so I got them all connected, as you can see. It's a good battery, I don't know why it decides to not work. All right, so it should be good now. Let me lower the window. All right, guys, just a moment of truth. Right, there we go. And she was completely dead, guys. As you can see, that noise is the clutch. Oh, yeah. I want to mention, uh, this is the cable I used. It's so badly hidden. It's a project truck, guys. I want to give a true shout out to my brother, who probably is not going to watch this, but he let me use his truck to fast charge. His truck was in the way, I asked him. Um, all right, so now that we got her running, I can show you guys the power. Or I can show you guys the seats move. So as you can see, it goes forward for the short people out there. No offense, you know, nothing wrong with short people. Just, you know, them girls that be driving so close to the steering wheel, you know. <laughs> but yeah, everything works. The, the top button works as well, as you guys can see. It's folding up. Go back. I go back. It goes back. Everything, everything works, even the lumbar support, which is this thing in the middle. You guys can't really tell it moves, but it moves. Everything works, all these switches work. You just can see. Anything's possible if you put your mind into it. Same with what goes with the passenger side. I'll show you guys that right now. All right, guys, there's a mess in this truck. As you guys can see, I mean, it looks decent on the passenger side. No rips on this chair. That's what I like about it. It's a little dirty since I daily it. But yeah, so basically, same goes with this side. I ran cables underneath. I hit it underneath the, the tram pieces and I wired them all the way across. You just can see this is the cable. 
I ran it all the way across through the firewall to the battery. And they work. If I want to go forward. If I want to go forward. It's, the truck is dirty. Sorry about that, guys. Just, I don't really clean this truck. I mean, you can even see there's nails in the seat. That's how you know I use it for work. It reclines back, reclines forward. Just can see. It goes back as well. So everything works on this. Even though the lumbar support works as well. Because I don't really use that. Right, I'll show you guys, I popped it up. You would have to open it. And these are the switches that connect there. So basically he wired the green, the green with the black and then the red with the red with the white. And that's what got, that's what got these working. Just cause see. It goes up, it goes down. Yeah, so basically that's all it. Once you do that, just put everything back and I'm not gonna lie, when uh, we were trying to do this, it was really hard. We had to do it each each one, each cable, and see which one worked. And it took us like a good, I'd say, an hour and a half. And I wanted to share this out there for anyone who wanted to do it. As you just can see, the seats look clean. Like I said, this is a project truck, and I bought these seats, and I was like, you know, I'm, I might as well try something new. And it made a big difference on the interior for sure. I mean, as you can see, it looks way different compared to the base model. The base model seats these just looks way better i'm gonna change the center console i might put the i might put the third seat back i might put one of these the gear shifter in the center console in the middle make it look cleaner but for right now guys now i'm not in a rush I wanted to share this out there for anyone that was wanted to, that wanted to try something new and to do this and not struggle like I did trying to wire them. But yeah, basically this side, this side is the same thing. I uh, just wired them to the green. What was it? To those cables. Basically the cables I showed you and it should work. It should work like a charm. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Drop it down in the comments below. From being a project truck starting off. It looks clean in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Drop it down in the comments below. Honestly, just wanted to share this information out there for anyone who wanted to do it. Keep in mind, I'm no near a professional. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. I also part of the turn signals. I mean, as you can see on the other side, I got the right side working. Basically, everything I'm doing is hardwired, guys. Um, I didn't flash anything, any BCM or anything. With a good lift and a good paint job, this truck will look beautiful in my opinion uh, so let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about the seats and i'll gladly answer each and every one of you guys all right guys before i end the video i wanted to talk about the seat belts i know 1999 through 2005 or 6 or 07 classic those they have the seat belts in the seat so what i did for the seat belts is basically i literally cut open my old seats from the other truck or from the original seats i cut them up i took out the seat belt system you know just in case or you what you guys can do instead of doing this you guys can put the racing seat belt the seat belt racing ones the ones they just put around there you guys can do that but this is what i did I, honestly later on i might get newer seat belts because these are not it so these are old and faded but yeah i basically drilled the base in the back and then i got these off of obs and i hang them right here it's pretty good as you guys can see they work good. Yeah, they work, you know. Just so you don't get pulled over and get a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. That that's what you guys can do. Like I said, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Drop it down in the comments below and I'll be answering each and every one of you guys. And I'll see you guys on to the next one.